Hi, I'm Scott Cole. And I'm Tom Seaborn. Welcome to the best abs on <laughs> earth. Oh, Scott, that was pretty hard. I know, i got to surprise him sometime. <laughs> anyway, we're going to take you from linear core training into what we call multidimensional core training, involving the centering of your body. Okay, we've got abs, obliques, lower back, everything working together like a top athlete would do. When we talk about abs, we talk about training them from the inside out. And this is the entire abdominal area, your rectus abdominis, your external obliques, your internal obliques, transverse abdominis, and it's not linear, Scott, it's curvy linear. We're going to be doing lots of moves from a standing position. That's right. And a vital component that's often forgotten is flexibility. You've got to be able to lengthen your abs and contract. So if you're tight in particular areas of your body, trying specifically, say, to get into the obliques, and you've got a tight lower back, you're going to have some problems. So we're going to show you how to work with that and power, Scott, because we're talking about not just force, but force times speed. Sounds good. Are you ready for your best abs on earth? Great martial artists feel their energy centered in the core. Core of an apple, center, and Tai Chi, it's the Dantian. Tom's going to showcase that with Laura here. Hi, Laura. Um, showing core-centered strength. Right. We're going to show the exact situation we're in the fitness industry right now by doing crunches. This is what they're doing in fitness right now. And a crunch, Laura is going to literally just move her fingers three inches forward. Notice her scapula, her shoulder blades are coming off the floor. Her eyes are focused toward the ceiling. And this is working her abdom abdominal area, and it's working it very well. And yet, we're going to have other methods to work that abs as well. Exactly. Yeah. You can really see the strength there. Now, if I were to hold Laura's legs here, what happens? Yeah, Tom? now it's the hip flexors. Now hip it's flexors. all about hip flexors, the muscles right here. And now it's not as much about ab work, it's about hip flexors. Right. So those of you at home that just are stuffing your legs under the sofa and doing crunches, <laughs> you know, it's not, you're not going to blow up or anything, but it'll be good if you can move your legs out and feel it in the abs. Right. Mm -hmm.